survey the area. All the moon. Valka the seer can use this.
And for Volka.
of East Anglia, just slightly north of center. The second tablet is in Essex, just Tunlock Excalibur, you need to collect 11 tablets, also known as the Treasures of Britain. Eight of these tablets are hidden in underground caves that require pretty much no combat, and the remaining three can be found off of specific zealots throughout England. We'll start with the zealots since those are the tablets you're most likely to run into during your daily adventures. Each of the zealots can be located by traveling along the main roads in their respective areas. Once you're within 300 meters of the zealot, they'll appear on your map. The first zealot, Woden, is in Kent. He wields a massive two-handed sword, which he attacks with relentlessly. He'll also use a smoke bomb effect that makes it a real challenge to dodge and parry his moves. The second zealot, Now that the zealots have been dealt with, it's time to go spelunking. For the remaining eight tablets, you'll have to go to various caves throughout England to find the treasures of Britain. And here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you where each of the cave entrances are first, in case you want a quick visual to help you locate each tablet. We actually released a second video in companion with this guide, so check the pinned comments if you wanna follow along with my gameplay walkthrough in each of the caves. The first tablet can be located at Grimes Graves in East Anglia. If you did the Beowulf questline, you may have already picked this up, if not, this spot is on the western border of East Anglia, just slightly north of center. The second tablet is in Essex, just southeast of Colchester and the Old Cellar. This is much more of a puzzle than a parkour challenge, but like I said, stick around and I'll show you exactly how to get this tablet. The third tablet is... I have the plant you asked for. It took some effort. Good, good. Thank you, Aver. Here you are. And be careful. This brew will feel as cold as ice on your lips, yet will burn like a fire in your belly.
Jotunheimer. I have not set foot in this realm in some time. I must find the witch Angreboda. She knows all that happens here. Angriola's home was right here when I last visited. It may still be. What do you see? Obstacle can be overcome if looked at the right way. The witch's house. There you are. Please enter. Do not trouble to knock or announce yourself. Angreboda, I have traveled far to find you. And you are brave to darken my door alone. Where is my lover, the dark fox that slinks between my sheets? I am not Loki's keeper. I have come to understand Jotna magic, your method for moving Huga from one body to another. The mead? You seek the mead? Hirokin! You have long outstayed your welcome. Then I will take my leave. But remember what I said, Angarboda. You will see things my way in time. The mead she spoke of. Where can I find it? A slip of the tongue. Forget what you heard. Do not play games with me, witch. 
You would sell any truth for the right price. If one had the means to pay it. There is a root called Hag's Claw. It grows at the bottom of a waterfall to the south, at the forest's edge. Bring me three roots from the place where the Red Moss thrives. Then we will speak of the mead. I will hold you to it. see no sign of it. If I look about, I may yet find a way to see the unseen. Cross, a cavern beneath the lake. This land is savage, but full of marvels. Angra Moda said to look where the Red Mars grows. Yes, 
smells strange down here. This road turns my stomach. I have done as you asked. Now, where is my wisdom? Give it a moment to brew. There. An elixir to ready your spirit. How will this bring me the meat? It will open your mind to the secrets of the world. While we wait, let us speak of Asgard. How fared your defenses after the last attack? We, um... We have been weakened by treachery. Without time to rebuild, we... we may not withstand another attack. Wait. 
I, uh... I, I did not mean to say that. I, I feel strange. Hexclaw has a way of untying the tongue. <laughs> now, you have said you want the mead, but how badly? How much would you sacrifice to be freed of fate's shackles? Would you give your tongue, your hand, your sight? I would. I would give all that, and more. I would like to see that. Loki, what trickery is this? I have sapped your strength, Javi. And I will take your life if your answers displease me. Did you think I would not come for you? After what you did to my son? Our son. Fenrir. A name I think you have heard before. Yes. In the final reckoning, the wolf Fenrir will be my doom. Now you know. Now you can no longer deceive. Tell me, what will you do with him? I want to kill him. But I cannot. I swore an oath to you, Loki, and I will not break it. I will not take his life. Fenrir will be imprisoned until the day of prophecy, when we will meet upon the field of battle, as we are fated to. Then we will bind you until that day, as you mean to bind our son. An eye for an eye. I see she let you live. You must have done something right. <laughs> let me help you down from there. No! No! Wait! 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 No! Ah! You could have let me down gently. I would presume I cared for your comfort. Then why release me at all? For the same reason you are in Jotunheim. You seek the mead, and I can help you get it. I assume there is a price. I want a small sample for myself. The rest is yours. Fair? Do I have a choice? Of course you do not. The mead is kept by Sutunger and his daughter Gunlother in the vault at their home in Utgarder. The vault is opened only on occasion of a great feast. When Sutungur shares the bounty of his cellar... And it would be a poor host who did not throw a feast for a distinguished visitor. Say, the High One of Asgard. You are not as ox-witted as I feared. I must bring a mighty gift to Sutungur, if I am to earn my welcome. That idiot drunkard Agir recently lost his cauldron to Sutungur in a wager, but it disappeared on the way to Udgarder. Sutungur would be grateful indeed if I returned that cauldron to him. Seek the tree that wears the scars of the World Serpent scales. The cauldron would have passed by there. You might also bring a gift for Gunlother. There are treasures that would flatter her in Thrymmer's house by the lake near Udgarder. I will bear that in mind. When you have the mead, join me at the Well of Mimir. There I will show you how to escape your doom at Ragnarok. Should I search for the cauldron now? I head for Thrymus Hall.
Here's the tree Hurricane mentioned. Its bark cut deep by Jormungandr's sharp scales. I should look around for the missing cauldron. Feel great. Flash met here, but you'd not leave no corpses.
was dark so the cart would break a wheel. This was an ambush. This cart bears the sign of Agate. Something huge was dragged this way. If it was Agir's cauldron they dragged through here, it must be large indeed. Turn to earth when they die, back to the tilth they came from. <laughs> the trail of destruction leads towards that giant root. Animal blood. There's a trail. Roughly got it. This is Yatna work. But why take its organs? They slaughtered that animal for its innards and used them in their ritual. Likely the thieves employed this magic to hide their loot. The mitten of the great Jotun Skrimir dropped here long ago. Maybe the thieves took their burden inside. Soft Mars all around. Hard to imagine this place once fitted a hand. Guards here are vigilant. Sons have been hiding here. The 
awaiting their chance to take it back.
things are not always as they seem in Jotunheimer. The cold has grown smaller. I'm getting the measure of these illusions. This cauldron should be enough to win Sutungur's favor. I could go to Utgarta now, but a gift for Gunnlona would improve my chances at getting the meat. Stretch your wings, Sulin. Once stood here, before ruin came upon it. 
waste the breath in your body. Loki often tells the tale of how Thrymia stole Thor's hammer. Loki often tells the tale of how Thrymia stole Thor's hammer. It seems his account of Thor's rage was no exaggeration. about this land, my friend. No sense trying to change fate. What counts is how you face it.
Have a look, Sunin. To my eyes, stranger. Small in stature, but great in deed. I am the one they call Javi, the High One of Asgard. And I come bearing a great gift. Your name is known to me, but what could mighty Sotunga want that a little thing like you could provide? Your great cauldron, stolen by Hemia's sons. Let this offering be a beginning to the end of our hostilities. Such a small thing, yet so much steeper than it seems. Appearances can be deceiving, can they not? <laughs> well spoken, Harvey. Our people may be enemies, but you have earned your welcome here. Thralls, an honored guest has come. Prepare a feast! I hope also to meet your daughter, Gunluda. I have heard much of her skill in the mystical arts. She will be toiling at her work, as ever. But be forewarned, she shuns the company of others. I could summon her to the feast, if you like. We might discuss matters of alchemy on the way. That would please me. You will find her in her grotto, up the path, within the circle of stones. Have a care, though. You are safe in my presence. But you wander Utgard at your peril. I will be discreet. And Harvey, be kind. Gunnlother is different from you and I. Do you see? Here's the stone circle. No way into the sanctum. Another illusion. revealed. Gun 
Lola, what is this place? Some time ago, we made powerful magic here. We sought to see all futures. But every road led to Ragnarok. Father does not visit here anymore. He sees no profit in it. But I am not yet ready to give up. You are Esir. I am. I have seen images of the future. Heard the voices of those who will come after us. Voices from... in there? Yes. I leave them words. Little packets of possibility, waiting for unknown ears, many ages hence. What do these future voices say? They seek the wisdom of the past. They speak of things to come. But even they cannot turn the tide of Ragnarok. There is to be a feast in my honor. Your father sent me to fetch you. No, not yet. Listen. I want you to hear the voices. Are you there, Prophet? Can you hear me? Perhaps another day. Another thread. Come. We must not keep father waiting. Who are you? Winter's knife cuts deep, and sky pearls fall thick in this land. It... it is cold out here. How can that surprise you? I haven't been outside in... Well, I don't know how long. You are devoted to your work. Not my work, my responsibility. My people ignore the disaster bearing down on them. Someone must do something. We have long searched for a solution, until the burden of it has bent my mind. I do not think as clearly as I once did. I have heard there's one method still untested. There is, but to activate it would mean defiling our well of knowledge, from which all of Midgard drinks. There is no telling the change it would wreak on humankind. It would bring chaos at the least, and I do not wish to hurt them. Even if it means the death of all Jotna? We will find another way. We must. This land is quite beautiful. I had all but forgotten. If there is another life beyond this, I hope it is a better one. wherein our greatest discoveries are kept. Such things would do great harm in the hands of evil people. No stone walls will defend us when Ragnarok comes. All we have built here will be swept away. Wind and snow have gnawed that tower to the bone. Soon, we will knock it down. Okay, it's like that. 
Harvey! Your feast is prepared. I hope it pleases you. You are generous and hospitable indeed, great Sutunger. None can say otherwise. And see, your gift stands in pride of place, brimming with freshly fermented mead. Enough for a hundred Yotnar and more. This is an unexpected honor. You have filled it already with mead from your vault, then? No need. It has filled itself. Such is the magic of the cauldron. Impressive. But what if it should run out of meat? Do you hear this? <laughs> Harvey fears he will drink us dry. <laughs> my cauldron is deep, but my vault is deeper. Do not worry about my stores of mead. I have plenty to go around. Father, you know revelry does not suit me. Must I attend this feast? I have work to do. Your work can wait, my daughter. Take a moment. Enjoy yourself. Father, we have very little time. Enjoy yourself. I insist. Harvey, the guests are uneasy. They see an Aesir, but they do not know you. Will you address them? I'm ready. Now, we will hear from our honored guest. The Lord of the Aesir has come in peace and brought us a mighty gift. Attend. I am Harvey, deft of tongue and quick of wits, here to spin you a tale. Your stories are wasted on them. They respect deeds, not hollow talk. You are all brothers and sisters to me. Do not be too familiar. Jotnar are slow to trust. I could go on, but who wants to hear words when there's meat and meat to be had? Well, it seems. Now we will drink deep and eat heartily. Let the feast begin. What can I do to get them to drink faster? You see, musicians, where's the music? Somber souls will only sip at their drinking horns. Conjure us a tune to raise their spirits. We are keen, but my harp has been stolen. We cannot play without it. Who would steal a Songbringer's instrument? There was a group of children playing around us earlier, with mischief in their eyes. I will get your harp back, and then you will play. Thralls. Humans kept in bondage, bred to serve. Such is the fate of the lowly. No guests in the kitchen! Out! Calling for challengers to face their champion. Harvey! Show us your might! Beat our champion and we will drain our horns in your honor. Bring me this champion and I will shine my knuckles on his jawbone. Behold! Do not mock me. I will not fight a withered old crone. <laughs> if you are too afraid to face her, well, that is that. If she is truly your champion, then so be it. I will try not to break her brittle bones, but I promise nothing. Don't be shy! Place your fists against the champion! Don't be shy! 
settle that crumble bones. Perhaps a bang would be more suited to your. Indeed, you are mighty. You have fought old age and won. No one has ever done that before. Drink to me then, as you promised you would. All of you! Empty your horns for heavy! The mead is half gone. Then Aegir's cauldron can be drained. That harp does not belong to you, little thief. You should give it back. What are you gonna do? Fight me for it? Why don't you give me a real challenge? All right. You want this harp? Go dive from that me. Climb as high as you can, though. I want a big splash. Watch and learn. <laughs> Bet they won't do it. How many broken bones, you think? Fifty at least. Maybe a hundred. Thank you. There. Now give back the harp, so the musicians may play. Umia's hairy balls! That was amazing! You must be half raven! Who taught you such language? Mother? Why? Not me, friend. My name is Thok. Uh, forgive me. I I thought you were someone else. Too much drink in too little time. The cure for that is sleep. I need to empty that cauldron. Then Tutunga will open his vault. You're not drinking, Gunlother. I do not care for it. Drink is the heron that steals away one's memory. Some would say it frees the spirit of worry. We call those people drunks. <laughs> I see your wit is as sharp as your intelligence. Wit? I was simply stating a truth. Let us play a game. Ask me some riddles. I will see if I can guess them. I enjoy a good riddle. How did you know? All great minds enjoy riddles. You fashion order from disorder, sense from nonsense. You have me at that. Very well, I will play. Give me an easy one to begin. Would that I had now what I had yesterday. Find out what that was. Mankind it mars, speech it hinders, yet speech it will inspire. The answer is courage. No, the answer is ale. I thought you would get that as you seem so fond of it. Would you like another? All right, I'm ready. Who is that shrill one who rides a hard road and has fared that way before? He kisses hard who has two mouths and goes only on gold. It is a hammer. Well done. I hope that wasn't just a guess. One more? I feel good about this one. Be prepared. This is the hardest yet. White-haired women, servants too, bore ale tub to the larder. No hand turned it, nor hammer beat it. But there, outside the islands, the upright one who made it.
Snow on the trees. You have a poet's heart, but you should have used your mind. It was swans and eggs. Well, now the game is over. Have I raised your spirits at all? I feel a little better. You are kind to attend to me, Javi. Most have given up trying. Is that Loki there? Surely he would not dare. What's the second worst? Huh? Agir, mighty friend to the Asiad. Are you not sorry to lose your cauldron? It was never mine by right. Thor won it from Hymir so he might feast in my hall. I only kept it on his behalf. And after that bloody business with Hymir's sons, well, I'd as soon be rid of it. I'll have no strife beneath my roof. The end of strife. I'll drink to that. And I'll drink to anything. The guests are not drinking fast enough. Um, Greetings, Harvey. Will you test your arm at archery? You must hit three targets in a handful of heartbeats. I can shoot the wings off a wasp. Ah, but can you do it while mead adult? Before each attempt, you must take a drink. I'll take your challenge on one condition. For every drink I take, you take two. Ha! <laughs> That's a condition I'll gladly accept. Are you ready? Show me those targets. They take a drink, and let fly! The guests are not drinking fast enough. Perhaps I can speed things along. You look a bit wobbly there! Careful! Fine shot! Now, have a drink and try another. Let us hope you hold your beer better than you hold the boat. Steady eye now. The last one is the hardest. Let us hope you hold your beer better than you hold the bow. You are a keen shot, Harvey. Your hand grows steadier with drink, where others lose their eye. Another round? Not for me. My belly royals like a knot of eels. And I see three of you. I think I should walk this off. The cauldron is empty. I should tell Sutanka. Great Sutunger, your guests thirst for mead, yet the cauldron is dry. All gone? I never would have thought it possible. Gunnola? Father? Open the vault. Instruct the thralls to bring more mead for my guests. Do they really need more, Father? Several are unconscious already. Do as I ask, daughter. Give them all they can drink. As you wish. I will open the vault. None will say that Sutunger is less than generous. None will be capable. Finally, the bolt is open. The mead awaits within. Javi? I, I heard a noise and... What are you doing here?
I uh, wanted to speak with you away from the others. I, I brought you something. A gift. For me? Thank you, but why? Fate, Gunlotha. We are helpless to escape it. And we were fated to be here now, together. You and I? How? It makes no sense. The Nordnir spin their patterns, and we can only surrender. We are entwined, spun together. There's perfect sense in that. Your words, your gift, your eyes when you look upon me. You bewilder me, Javi. I do not understand you. Listen and attend. I will show you all you need to know. The strange magic might the Aesir evade our doom. Hirokin has promised answers at the well of Mimir. I saw you at the feast, Loki. Small wonder you disguised yourself after all you have done. Someone needed to warn my people of the treachery in your heart. Suttungur, show this Aesir how the Jotnar deal with thieves. Come, embrace your death!
You will gamble with unlike eyes. Looks unstable. Uh, I will take cover. For one such as you. Your bones will splinter beneath my boots. What have you done with my daughter? Thankful it was me who took your meat and not Loki. What I do, I do for the safety of the Aesir and Vanir. You will change countless fates, Harvey, but not your own. We will see. Idakin said to find her Mimi as well. I will deal with this venomous trickster another day.
I sorely underestimated the heft of your balls, Oathbreaker. You dare show your face. Oathbreaker, I did to you what you did to my son. This is only fair. And Sutungar, what of him? Don't blame me for your own lack of character. You stole the mead. For the safety of my people, Loki. For Asir, for Vanir, for all of Asgard. But not... For Jotnar, not for me. You let the Jotnar into Asgard. So many dead, all so you could smuggle in your son. He was not safe here. They knew what he was and knew what he would become. Just as you do. I swore to you I would not harm him. That is the truth. That is the truth now. But how it will gnaw at you, knowing that to kill my son will undo your doom. Release him, Harvey! Release Fenrir, or I swear, I will kill you, here, and now! You are out of favors, Trixer, and you are welcome to try. When my son is loosened from his bondage, he will ravage all of Asgard! <laughs> Curse you, Loki! We were like brothers once! <laughs> Feel stronger, old. If you fight as well as you lie! You might be the strongest, but I was ever the quicker one! <laughs> You meant to have me killed! I will never forgive that! I will feed your corpse! No quarter this time, Loki! You have gone too far! Die now. Let's see if you fight as well as you lie. I will feed your corpse to Fenrir. No quarter this time, Loki. You have gone too far. I might be the strongest, but I was ever the quicker one! You meant to have me killed! I will never forgive that! Why wait till Ragnarok when you can die now? Curse you, Loki! We were like brothers once! When my son is loosed from his bondage, he will ravage all of Asgard! You meant to have me killed! I will never forgive that! Water 
this time, Loki! You have gone too far! I will feed your corpse to Fenrir! Curse you, Loki! We were like brothers once! When you can die now. Let's see if you fight as well as you lie! Are you finished? Curse you, Harvey. Your own distrust has undone you. Now go, and do not show your face again. I cannot be other than who I am. All this was fated. All this will happen again. But you will not be here to see it. Do not be so sure of that. The game is not over. The game is never over! The roots of the world tree Yggdrasil feed from the well of Mimir. I am close. Gone. To who knows what mischief. I will not see him again soon. Abilities lead us here. The calculations give us hope. Speaking with someone? Do you have the mead? I do. Must I drink it now? Not yet. For once you drink, your Hugur will take flight and be ever fixed. Drink only when the hour of your death approaches. Then why are we here? When Ragnarok has come and gone, this place will remain. Remain. And remember. Wise Mimir, keeper of the well, give me your counsel. You who seek immortality may find it within these waters. But there is a price. As always. The mead is not magic alone. It requires the sacred waters of Mimir's well to ferment into its final state. Before you take these waters, you must infuse them with the blood of the Asim. To remember you, it must know you. Surrender a part of yourself to the waters that nourish the world tree. Only then will you have that which you desire. And if I make this sacrifice, what then? While death and ruin rage all around, the world tree will keep you. Your body will die, but your Hugur will live on here. In time, you will be born anew, into a new world birthed from the ashes of the old. Do you vouch for this strangeness? I must believe it, for there is one I love dearly who depends upon it. And there is no other way. None. It seems I have no choice. You never did. How much would you sacrifice to be freed of fate's shackles? Would you give your tongue, your hand, your sight? I would give all that and more.
The sacrifice has been made. Whosoever drinks of the mead, the World Tree will remember them. And you? What is your sacrifice? My liberty. Sutungar and Gunlother will not forgive this trespass. They will hunt me now to the edges of the Nine Worlds. What are they to you? We rule together for a time, a noble triad, as father, mother, and the sacred voice. Six times we tried to blunt the fangs of Ragnarok, and six times we failed. The Mead was our seventh. But they feared how it might change the humans for the worse, so they locked it away and banished me from Utgardr. By your efforts, you have returned to me what is mine. The ashes of my husband. He made his own sacrifice for knowledge. With a few changes to this mead, I may undo old sorrows. Do as you will. I've had my fill of this cursed realm. Bright mind, heart's ease. Beloved, I will not fail you again. My work here is done. Now to Asgard, to save my people. Come, settle your mind, and tell me what you have seen. Strange things, Valka. I'm learning much and seeing more than my mind can understand. Go on. In Jotunheim, I sought and found a mead of incredible power. It promised me a strange effect. To drink it would deliver me from death. Shield me from the destruction of Ragnarok. By this mead, I hope to live beyond my own death, well into the future. Fascinating. Was that your final vision? They have not ended, not yet. Something compels me to return to Asgard. The elixir is ready when you are. <laughs> <laughs> 